Hi, I'm Alex Ineco, and this is Ekai's Musical Encyclopedia. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Today's word is baton. What is a baton? Well, I have three here, okay? I'm a conductor, and I have these three sticks. They're made of wood. I'm not sure what kind of wood, and then they're painted white. And then here, where you hold it, you can have it either made of wood, like this one, oak wood, I think, or you can have it made of cork, okay? Uh, look at this, a little bigger, and this one is a little, a little rounder, and you hold it the same way. Okay, look at this. Um, the baton is supposed to serve as a, an, an arm extension of the conductor, okay? So that the musicians can see us from farther, okay? They're painted white because as you, as you dim the lights of the theater, the light of it becomes black. It becomes dark here b behind the conductor. So look here; it's very easy to see uh, uh, against a dark background. So it's easier for for the, the the musicians to see. You usually hold the baton with your right hand, and it serves primarily as marking the tempo to mark the beat. So it's like one two, one two, one two. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The one is always here lower, okay? The word baton comes from, uh, I mean, in French, it means staff, like a huge staff, wooden staff, because originally in the Baroque era, it was a huge staff that they used to mark tempo, to mark the time by banging it on the floor. And there's a horrible story about this with French composer Jean-Baptiste Lully because he was banging that staff and he accidentally banged it on his uh, thumb, on his uh, big toe, I'm sorry. In Portuguese, thumb and toe are the same words. Can you believe that? So he banged it on his, his big toe and he uh, the thing got very bad. He refused to amputate it and it gangrened and he died. So he died of a baton. Can you believe that? So that story you won't forget, okay? Uh, can the conductor work without a baton? Yes, many choir conductors especially like to, to use their hands instead of the baton because they think they have more expression that way. But many orchestral conductors also uh, choose to conduct without a baton. That's actually an interesting discussion. I like to conduct with the baton because I think it gives me power. It's as if I have a, some sort of magic wand. And you can't deny that there's some charm to it, okay? This is a baton. Today's word was baton. This is Ekai's musical encyclopedia. Have you subscribed to the channel?